For Air Force soccer fans, last season ended too early, with the Falcons falling to Virginia Tech in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Needless to say, there's motivation to climb higher this season. When you lose your last game, there's only one person in the country that's happy. That's the guy that won the Final Four. Uh, you're motivated. I think every time any soccer player steps on the pitch, he's motivated to try to win that game. So we'll take it one by one and uh, Virginia Tech's first and then we'll switch it around and play JMU. Yes, you heard correctly. This team opens up on the road against Virginia Tech, the same Hokies that ended their season last year. Call it added motivation. Yes, definitely. You got that sour taste in your mouth from last year, especially um, knowing that we were definitely a team that deserved to make it further in the tournament. Um, yeah, that was that, definitely some memories from that game that uh, they gave me riled up and uh, some of the other guys as well. I think yes and no at the same time because we're always extremely motivated to play. An opening game is sets the tone for the whole season, so we want to come out on fire and we want to come out on fire against everybody. So Virginia Tech is just a little extra. Oh sure, but I think no matter who we'd be playing, they'd be chomping at the bit because we've been banging against each other except for when we played New Mexico right at this spot. It adds a little extra, you know, fire because hey, that's who knocked you out. Who do they have back? Who do we have back? You know, I know our team. I think we have a lot of veterans. I think we're going to do well. It's good when you have an experienced team and an older team because now you don't have to, you know, develop a whole lot. You just add to it. So there's young players adding to it, and I think it's going to be a good season. Prognosticators think it will be good as well. The preseason poll has Air Force pick third in the Western Athletic Conference, with both Tucker Bone and Austin Dewing being named to the preseason All-WAC team. Bone was also selected to the first team of TopDrawerSoccer.com's preseason 11 best in the country. It feels good. It's, it's definitely honoring for sure. But um, at the end of the day, all this preseason stuff doesn't matter. Um, of course, we want to put in work to be that team we want to be. But all these awards and stuff that you know the conference hands out, top drawer soccer hands out, none of it means anything until you, know, you get started and uh, what, what you prove yourself to be that year. We need those guys. You need key players to make your team play well. I mean, I think we're good from the goalie all the way to the floor. I sometimes play Tucker's in the tacky mid, sometimes I play him up top. He adds a lot of energy, he's exciting to watch, and he just brings a different power level to the team. But you know what, he's supplemented by a bunch of guys around him that can do the same thing. So if they're marking him, there's other people that'd be open. You can feel the hunger as the team continues to practice to start this weekend. They know the goal is to improve on last year, but in order to do that, they'll need to start from scratch. Our goal this year is to, to win the conference uh, tournament and to win the regular season as well. Um, obviously, we want to make that run in the NCAA tournament, but we're not going to be able to get there unless we win our, uh, our conference tournament first. So um, everything this year is geared towards that. I think it's a big part of our team goal is just to stay humble. You know, we haven't done anything this year, no matter what accolades we got last year, which was awesome and really glad the program got the recognition we did. But this year is a new year. You know, we're approaching each game like we did the last one and uh, you know every game starts 0-0 so that's how we're going to start and that's how we're going to hopefully stay humble and keep going and stay focused.